हे गाइस इट्स मी एंड आयका एंड फॉर टुडेस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी गिविंग यू सम टिप्स एंड सम ट्रिक्स एंड व्हाट आई बेसिकली डू इन फाइनल टाइम बिफोर लाइक गेटिंग इनटू द एग्जाम हॉल और एग्जाम लाइक क्लास सो एज यू मे नो दैट एवरी वन विल हैव एग्जाम्स लाइक देयर फाइनल्स इन मार्च फेब्रुवरी एंड एप्रिल That was like in complete different order, but yeah, February, March, and April they are going to be having all their finals. So that's why I thought I will post this video. So yeah, without further delay, let's get into it. So this is what I do every Friday whenever I come back from school. I take out every single thing from my backpack and I put it neatly. I organize it on my table and especially when I have exams I do this so then I can study neatly in a segregated way. And here I'm trying to find a really important paper which I cannot find because my papers are all unsegregated and I do not like that. To avoid that you can make three different uh, parts of your papers one is for fill in the blanks and the revision worksheets which our teachers give us so that is on the top which i keep and the second is the uh, reference worksheets and the third is the not that important the last uh, the last ones which are not at all important which ma'am gave us long long ago so here i keep three divisions so then i can I can actually go through whatever I need and what is important. So here is how I do that. segregating all of my books i'm taking my workbooks which are really small and i'm keeping them on top and then i'm keeping all of the uh, all of the textbooks on the bottom because they are really huge and my normal notebooks on the top all of my subject notebooks will be like on the top and all my other uh, curriculum notebooks like music and art will be um, like in the another pile I am going to be showing you what I keep in my pencil case during my finals because I do not take every single thing um during my finals or during any exam but not including CTs cuz CTs is just really easy but um trials is like the main exams which you have to really concentrate on so I am going to be showing you what I keep and what you can keep because like that's like what you need you don't need to fill your pencil case with so many things and dig through it so yeah you don't even need to carry like this uh, like this big of a pouch you can carry something small like this and not like fill it so much how i did i am not going to be carrying this cuz this has a lot of like it has a lot of uh, shades of it has a lot of color pencils no uh, i mean color pens because like for any arts and crafts or anything i just use this and that's why it's like super duper big it like it 
it's actually kind of heavy uh and this is really light because i put in whatever i need but this also has some of my um colors inside of it that i'm going to be taking out in front of you and i'm going to just show you what i carry and what i think is necessary for 6th grade or even 7th and 8th so not 8th 7th and 6th uh, so yeah let me just put all of these books aside So uh, basically what you need, you need a compass box if you have maths, if you have geometry, then you, make, uh, then you need a compass box. So in compass box everything already comes, you get a ruler inside but I don't have a ruler in this, I lost it. So you get this thing, I don't even know what I, I don't use this that much. So you don't have to take this, uh, you need this thing to draw a circle, a compass and I have two of those. You need the triangle scale, you need a protractor, the most important is a protractor and I have two more of the triangle things, here's a scalene and here's a triangle. So yeah, that is already coming inside of this. So that I'm not going to talk about because you already know whatever is coming inside and yeah so you can only take whatever you need for the exam because uh you don't need to take this entire thing and like weigh so much on your back because your back will pain because of your uh uh backpack so i i usually carry the entire thing because um i just like it it's like a separate thing so i always carry the entire thing but on the other hand i carry both of these but if you like carrying really light then you can only carry like a protractor scale and uh, um the compass so yeah so that is really mandatory for me because i have in maths i have constructions i have angles so yeah to make angles and to construct that is really important and to measure i have my scale inside of this because i usually use my scale for other stuff too i have a highlighter you don't need to take a highlighter because in exams you don't need to highlight anything but if you like highlighting anything you can also highlight it with a pencil because it doesn't really matter or a pen because it's just your try it's your eye exams so yeah you you don't need to really carry this i will still carry it because for my other exams and uh still now for uh, uh for today is um today is thursday i'm not going to be going to school tomorrow because i'm going to study like the full day at home um i will need this because i like highlighting everything whatever is important so i keep this you can even keep this in colors but i like the uh the what is this? neon one and then I do have colors as I told you. Oh, I have uh, a highlighter in pink color as well. But I don't really use the pink that much. But uh, yeah, I have both of those colors. And yeah, I only have these two color pens inside of this. So I will put this in this. And I will not be taking this uh, to school because I will not be needing this. Because uh, like half of the day will go in the exam. And I don't think we need any colors. So yeah, I'll keep this aside. And I always have a whitener with me, but in exams, in my school, it's not allowed to use whitener in my exams. So if it's allowed in your school, you can use it. But in my school, it's not allowed. So I don't know why I have this. But for a normal day basis, even though um, I have my exam, we will write a little. So I will still carry this. And I have my pentonic uh, ballpoint pen. And this is a normal black pen. I think a black pen is really important. And a blue pen. I just saw my blue pen. Uh, here, my blue pen. Uh, so I have my blue pen. I have, actually I have a lot of blue pens. Um, You don't have to be like me. I have five blue pens. So don't be like me and don't take so many blue pens. One or two is enough because if you run out of one, you can use another one. But I am always scared. I have anxiety in during exams that i don't know if i have anxiety even when i leave the school i always double check my bags if i lose anything i will just my i'll get so scared so yeah i always carry like five or maybe four is also good but if you don't have anxiety like me you can ask your friend or anything like that so that's fine so one black pen is uh, uh not that important uh, not the 
I can't talk today. Not that important. But blue pens, I think blue pens are really important. So I have five. Don't take five. Take like three or two. So yeah, that I have. And I have a permanent marker. You don't need this. I carry this for my name labeling for my books or something like that. But now I will not be needing this. And then I have my golden um, bell pen, uh, bell pen, ball pen, ballpoint pen, uh, uniball um, 0.8. So that also I don't need because it's golden. Like who uses golden in an exam? So uh, you don't need to carry this obviously. And then I have two pencils. I have one pen pencil and I have one normal pencil. I always like keeping a normal pencil because I usually... the. Uh, today I just cannot talk. I'm super duper sorry. Uh, I usually use like normal pencils because I think they are more accurate. I don't really like using uh, these ones because uh, I even put lead in it but it's not working. Now it's finally working for some reason. Like there's a lot of lead in this but it's not working. I do not use this that much. I use this more. This I use very rarely but it depends on your wish you can uh, carry either of them but i still like keeping two uh, so i would recommend you guys to keep two of the normal pens because i mean normal pencils because you can always sharpen them i do not have a sharpener in this i know it's really bad oh i do have a sharpener i just forgot i do have a sharpener so that's a good that uh, a miracle happened today so i have a sharpener I have an eraser like erasers are really important even though now we are in sixth or seventh if you are in you don't use uh, pencils that much still always keep an eraser because uh, no matter what happens if you don't know the answer you can always write it in pencil and then you can erase it and if you find the correct answer you can write it in pen so that's always great so I have an eraser I have a sharpener normal and I have a hand sanitizer. I don't know why I have this. But I do not like smelling bad. Like especially my hands. And I do not like germs. So I have a, a hand sanitizer. You don't need this in the during the exam. But I just like keeping one because it's just nice. It's proper. And here I have some lead. I'm already running out of them. <clears throat> what happened to my voice? Okay. <clears throat> I have lead 0.7 okay I have 0.7 lead yeah it's I'm running out like one is this small and one is this big so and then finally I got my ruler and is there anything no. that's it is in like the big pocket but now the small pocket let's go let's see in the small pocket I have a stapler you don't need to carry a stapler but I just like carrying one because sometimes any worksheets of mine as I, as I showed you in my previous clip any worksheets of mine are not clipped properly I always clip it again so I have a stapler you don't need it for the exam so don't take this during like your uh, finals week and I have stapler pins without stapler pins this can't exist so you know it's like a charger with a phone this is my covering and then I have a glue stick yeah. and then I have this shit I don't even know what this is it's for uh, ma'am gave us my teacher gave me this like difference so I have this inside of here yeah. so this obviously you will not need and do not cheat guys do not cheat it's fine if you cheat like we can't even cheat because we sit with uh, like a like an 8th grader or a 7th grader so we can't cheat but if you sit with your friends then do not cheat it's fine if you cheat like one or two answers but do not cheat any other so yeah that's it is in this and um i'm gonna like keep back everything else like i'm gonna take all my pens again because i'm not gonna leave them and my this 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 and this will go in here and my lead I'm gonna keep it in this then my this pen and then both of my highlighters my um what is that called white no and then my other pen so that's it and my best this and you can also always keep your uh, compass box inside of this because like it just fits if you have a big one like me but if you're carrying like this much small one then you can just carry a pencil, a pen, whatever I told you right now, whatever is important.
so yep that's what i carry and why did i do this i don't know but yes <laughs> So I do not recommend you guys to highlight a lot. Highlight only the main points how I did over here. And if you have a lot of pages, then go through everything and highlight only like the main points. Do not highlight any unnecessary points. With personal experience, I would not recommend you guys to eat any food or uh, chew gum during studying. Cause all of your mind will go in eating or chewing, so uh, make sure you uh, like. I would recommend you guys to keep a little water bottle or and a glass next to you while you're studying, so then you can always hydrate yourself and you can keep yourself awake while drinking the water, and that will like kill the uh, uh, kill all of your um kill your hunger as well. So that is much better instead of eating food continuously and. demotiv uh, demotivating yourself to study and also making yourself sleepy so that is much better so thanks for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe and please write in the comments down below what video i should make next yeah bye bye